What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to Wreckfest. Now today we are going to be, as usual, we're going to be carrying on with the campaign on Challengers mode and we have only got two racing series left, ladies and gentlemen, until we go on to the pros, because you know, we are, I mean we're already pros, all of us together, we're already pros at this, but even though it says Challengers, we're pros. But we, I've picked today the the second last racing series of this challenger of this championship and then uh, and we have um and the vehicle i've picked today is a hammerhead now before i record this i thought to myself you know what b class you know vehicle have i not used yet because i've used a rocket i've used the mud dodger i've used the nexus rx i've used the rammer i've used the killer b and i've maybe not used I think I used maybe the Dominator once, but it wasn't that good. So, um, but I've never actually used a hammerhead and you know customized it and made it actually good. So I thought to myself, well, why not customize it, give it a nice paint job, and you know upgrade it and see how we go. So I have managed to get this thing up to 215 on B class. And if I there is a few more upgrades I can do, but I'll put it up to A class. So this is the highest I can go in this B class. Uh, vehicle and I I kind of like the paint job here I like I kind of like the scheme kind of like the 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 598 and the Hillsy. I have no idea what that means so if any of you American you know fans are out there please tell me what that means or tram lord these are just like sponsors so um but yes um I've I've actually haven't played this vehicle yet and I thought it'd be a good idea to play it so um uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the first race, which is Tarmac 1, and and our bonus target is to try and get the perform the best lap, which should be easy for us or me, because um, cause I'll be racing. So um, without further ado, let's get straight into the race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are into the first race of our new racing series. So um, our bonus target is to from the best lap, which I already said, and I think we're bo I think we're starting from the very bottom because I do not see myself on the on the position board there. So um, I think we're starting off last, but we are have we do have the most powerful vehicle here. But uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, we are starting actually in 17th. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, let's go. All right. Now what I have done is I have turned the volume up, or the game volume, well I just turned it a wee bit down in my headphones there, um, but I've turned it up in the game volume so you guys can hear it better, because every time I record these, I still can't actually, when I kind of edit and go back and review it, I can't, I still can't hear, you know, the game volume, so I have turned it up a wee bit more, see if you guys can hear it, but um, uh, you should, I, I have can turn it down in my headphones a little bit so it doesn't actually deafen me myself. Even though it is probably when I probably watch this back, it's probably very, very, um, very, very quiet. Uh, sorry, very. Yeah, it's probably very, very quiet. But whatever. Actually, that was a very good drift back there, and we are freaking climbing up, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap! This vehicle is actually good. Now, what I'm gonna actually, I start before I am. Um, oh, what was that voice crack there? <laughs> before oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. And go on the outside, and we are not okay. Um, no, what I was trying to say is, um, um, I don't know, because this guy keeps distracting me. Stop being a fucking nugget! Oh my god, that guy, this, that guy is just being like a stupid idiot. That's what you get. I'm sorry, but he deserved that in every single way possible. Anyway, sorry. What was? Let me get back to what I was saying. Um, before I uh, before I started this recording, another thing that I had in mind was every time I uh, every time I do it, every time I start a, every time I start a new racing series, um, I choose a different vehicle. And what I was thinking to myself is that well, why not I talk a little bit about the car and maybe not maybe not so much about you know its history or anything like that because of course it's just a made up car. It's not an actual vehicle. Um, these all these cars here are, are made up. Well, maybe not the Killer Bee because that's kind of based off a Mini Cooper, but or a Mini. But um, um, anyways, um, some of the vehicles here, like this, uh, this, the, this. Um, what's this vehicle called again? The the Hammerhead, I think it's called. 
um, kind of talk a wee bit, um, kind of how, uh, I'll tell you kind of what I've upgraded and kind of stuff like that. And then, uh, and then I'll tell you a wee bit about the handling, the acceleration, if it's if it's worth buying or not, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you'd like me to kind of do that in, in the wreck fest and let me know. So uh, let, let, let's get straight into it. So um, first of all, the this is this is a hammerhead. Now it does feel on the heavy side. I have to be honest. This vehicle does feel on the heavy side because um, um, it does it does you know look at the look at the size of this thing. It looks um, it kind of looks big, doesn't it? it? It looks very big. It just looks it just feels quite heavy. It just it kind of feels like a mole's kind of like just kind of like dragging someone or kind of like from the floor. That's kind of what it feels like. Um, but no, this thing is definitely fast, let's put it that way. Um, I have upgraded this to, the, I think, the second engine, because um, if I go to the third, then it goes up to A-class. But in B-class, this thing is very good. Um, on, yeah, like I said, on the acceleration-wise, the, the speed is, as you can see, it's very good. It's it's very nice. I almost hit 90 there on, on, the, on that wee straight there. And... Um, it, it, you know, when it does get too straight, it can definitely pull it some way. It can certainly, you know, it can certainly, you know, zoom off from other vehicles in this race. And yes, I know they are only, you know, I, I am the fastest vehicle here. But even still, it just feels quite nice. Like, um, like I, I don't know. Right, we've got like, all right, here comes a straight coming up. So, um, well, let me show you. Let me see if I can try and reach a hundred. Let me see. Come on. Uh, 90 come on there we go managed to reach a hundred just before that turn and it and it feels good reaching a hundred so yeah um, moving on to the um, to the uh, handling wise um, how does it feel well it feels very nice actually as you saw in at the start of the race I did a really nice trip there and um, going through the corners it does you know it does feel very nice like watch this Look at that! That is that was quite a nice drift there. So, um, on the handling wise, it does feel okay. It does feel a wee bit lacklustering, but nothing too nothing too bad. Um, drifting, like I said, through this corner here, very nice, and it's certainly uh, a nice vehicle um, to drive. Now, is it worth buying? Is it worth buying with all the upgrades? Yes, it's worth buying but make sure you when you buy this vehicle make sure you upgrade it because if it's completely stock then it's basically a piece of junk because um what i say to you is that what i'm going to say to you is when every time you buy every time you buy a new vehicle in a game in this game make sure you upgrade it because if you don't upgrade it and leave it in like c class then it's just going to be kind of like you you kind of leave buying it and you're like oh yeah i forgot i have other vehicles i've upgraded and then you just leave this one so when you're buying any vehicle in wreckfest um or just uh, yeah if you're buying any vehicle in, in wreckfest make sure you upgrade it maybe straight away or if you've got money left over kind of calculate how much money um you're gonna have left to kind of spend because uh, these upgrades are definitely worth it um so um yeah, it is. Uh, it is definitely this vehicle is definitely uh, worth the buy if if you're kind of willing to kind of feel kind of like on if you're kind of like kind of like heavy kind of bashing and all that stuff. So um, it's it can also be good for um, uh, demolition as well if you like because it is a tough vehicle itself. So it's actually it's not too bad overall. So good first race. Let us move on to the next race, which is, um, which is, I think, I think there's four races overall. So, um, but let's move on to the next one. I will see you right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, race number two, and this time it is the gravel. I guess I, I think it's the same track, but it's a gravel version, so this should be a lot more interesting, slidey and slippery. And this time we're starting up in 14th, I can actually see myself on the leaderboard, leaderboard thank god. Um, but yes, um, this time our bonus target is to finish in first position, so this time it's a wee bit harder, but we should be able to do it, so let's go. 
All right, and I have to say, look at the weather. I, d I don't know if you can see, um, if you look in front of you, it's lots of clouds and it looks like, and it looks like a, it's about to rain, but if you look behind you, it's like a nice kind of sunset -y area kind of thing. So uh, just uh, that, that's quite nice as well. Now, um, I have literally nothing else to talk about. Um, I didn't really uh, become with a with a, with uh, with topics this week on what to discuss, but um, uh, I, I I don't know. But I, I guess we can kind of talk about this game um, if you want, because I I I'm, I told you I'm a professional I'm a professional YouTuber. Um, I do everything professionally and I don't write anything down. That's what professional YouTubers do. Um, no, but um, on a serious hand, um, this game is um, is is, um, is amazing. It, it, it is, and I'm not even joking on the basis that this game is is like not crap. Like, because if you see the if you actually see the Steam reviews, if because you can get this, you can get this. I think I, yeah, you can get this game off Steam for a quite a cheap price as well. I think it's fifteen pounds or maybe less. I'm not sure. Wait on maybe like maybe wait till the discount comes on or like summer sale comes on because then you'll get a discount for it. Because this game is is if you're considering getting this game, please do get it. Or if you don't own it yet, please do get it because this game is a lot of fun. And especially with multiplayer, oh my god, you can actually have a blast with multiplayer. You are freaking the game servers are very laggy, but it's still a lot of fun. This game, it's like, it's uh, it took me like a couple months to get this game, and I thought, is it worth buying? And then I played the game, and I was like, holy crap, this is the most fun I've ever had in a game. Um, but uh, yeah, everything is just, it's just everything feels very realistic. Like, it, the developers of this game are very much in. Um, or, or pug bear, which I, I think that's right. I think that's how you say it. Um, are very, you know, are very. What do you, are very? They lead listen to their community. They listen to their community. That's it. And um, and I like other games like um, like I play like World of Tanks. There, War Gaming are such a company that they do listen to their community, but they don't. You know, they don't. You know. The community is very toxic, unlike this company. I mean, I can't really compare World of Tanks to this game because, or the communities, because World of Tanks is a bigger game and it does have a bigger community than this one. Um, but the fact is that this game and the commu and the developers, because I get, when I go on Steam and I read the news, I get updates all the time about this game and. The developers are very much in contact with the community and if you guys got any careers or anything about this game then post them in the comments below and maybe one of the developers of this game will see it but who knows I, I, I don't think they watch my channel because I'm very a very low I'm a very low subbed channel but um anyway uh, yes this game is just I, I know I've said it like millions of times on the Wreckfest video, but it is, it is really good. And like I said, if any of you are considering buying it, you you should. Holy crap! I'm I'm behind 24th. I, that is 24th place right there because I'm first. That is impressive. This vehicle is fast, especially with the upgrades. This thing is not bad. Now this vehicle off road is pretty good. It's I think it's pretty much the same as um as uh what's it called? This vehicle is pretty much the same kind of how it reacts and through the corners. I mean it is a wee bit more slippery on gravel like every car is, but this car kind of handles, accelerates kind of like the same way on tarmac. So I again this is what I like about this vehicle, it's very um it's very fun, it's very it's a lot of things to do. I just took over I just I just overtook 23rd and 22nd. I've flapped them. Holy crap, that's amazing. But we are finished. Ta-da. Nice. 43 seconds. Holy crap, that may actually be my personal best ever. Nice. All right. Um I don't know how um well I I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's just move on and then I'll see how, see how time's doing, and then 
I'll see if you know if how many more races we've got to do and and then we'll go from there so I will see you in two seconds Okay, so there is actually eight races, so it's actually quite a lot. So what I'm, since there's eight races, what I'm thinking to do, this is the third race. So, um, you know, I think I might, I think this is a good point to leave it here. I was thinking of doing four, I was planning of going up to four races, but, um, or maybe do one more, but, um, um, We'll, we'll, I think that's probably enough. Or should we do one more? You know, we'll do one more. This will be the last one, and then I think we'll end today's episode. So I will see you in two seconds in the next race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the last race of of this video. Well, of yeah, this is be this is going to be the last uh, race for this video, and we're going to see how we do. So this time our bonus objective is our bonus target is to lap at least one opponent. That's harder. It's actually we managed to do it last round, but um, let's see if we can do it this round. So let's go. All right, here we go. We're starting off in the ace team, so further back than last time, but that's okay. We should be able to make a nice steady first. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! So this is actually, um, it's actually, this, I'm, I'm kind of glad I've done this race, uh, I'm kind of glad I've, uh, I'm doing this race, because, um, this is a mix, I, I, this is a, I think this is actually a mix between tarmac and, uh, tarmac and, uh, gravel, I think, yeah, because now we're on tarmac, oh, that was very nice drift there, a wee bit too much, but that's okay, yeah, so, first round was tarmac, second round was gravel, and now this run it's gravel and tarmac, so nice. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And I and I am already in first, but I don't want to karma that. Oh, I almost karma that. I almost karma that. Uh, that was that was too close. That was too close. I have to say that this vehicle kind of looks like a funeral car. Actually, I don't know if it is a funeral car. Um, I might, I might have actually, what I've actually done is that I've stolen this vehicle, I, I stole this off a, off a, a, a funeral, and, um, and no, no dead person was in it, thank god, but, um, I stole it at a vehicle bay where you get funeral cars, and, uh, and I basically just took it to a, to a, a repair shop, or a workshop, and basically just turned it into a wreck fest car massacre beast vehicle and now n now this vehicle is mine and i will and probably i'm i'm probably going to get a phone call from the police saying that i stole it but who cares i founders keepers isn't uh, isn't that what they say guys yeah the finders keepers isn't yeah i'm sure that's what they say i i definitely did not steal this Shh. Guys, you have to stay quiet. I promise you, I did not steal anything of the sorts. Do you think I would do such a thing? Do you honestly think I would do such a thing of stealing any any funeral car? Because that is really, really sad. Shut up. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> Even though I said I just stole. Oh my god, this vehicle is mad. I love it. And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about the mad. Oh my god, I'm drifting like mad and I'm scared about second place, that's why I keep looking back. Come on, we have got this in the bag, in a bag, and it has to be a garbage bag. And I'm going, I am going as fast as this funeral car can go. Well, it's not a funeral car, car anymore, is it? It is just something I might or might have not stolen off a funeral section car base area. And I turned it into a freaking beast. Look at this. Isn't this so much better than a funeral car? You know, because um, funeral cars always go slow. And they have to be, you know, respectful. And of course, I understand that. But when this vehicle is in its... In its when this vehicle is in its... Um, is in its... What's it called? 
is in its zone. That's it, it's in its zone. This thing, and you upgrade it and customize it, this thing is a beast. Look at it. I'm playing competitively, I'm, comp I'm playing angry with this thing, and I'm loving it. And it's drifting all over the place, and I love it. I honestly do. I do like this vehicle a lot. And it's this tube at the end. And if you get your big and you get and if you get yourself a big tubey hole, then you should be able to fit can they fit it through if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Bill Bill, Bill Cosberry, you see. Look at me drifting through all three of these corners. I mean I, I don't think it really helps, but sure, why not? Why not? No, I am so glad. I have just realized that my recording has lasted this long and I'm impressed although I don't want to I don't want to say you know it's not gonna last I, I is gonna last well I'm hoping but um you know why it kept crashing all the time um you know every time I um every time I would say to you like I think I think it was two episodes ago on breakfast you know how you know the recording kept crashing well, that's because I had like YouTube open I had you know, TeamSpeak open, I had, you know, everything opened in the background that I didn't, that I didn't, you know, get rid of. And now that I've got rid of it, I've only got this game in Steam open, because I, if I close Steam, Steam down, then this game will uh, close, so, um, but those are the only thing, two things I've got open, and the, the recording has lasted a lot longer, and I realised that this course is quite long, and we still got two more laps to go. Why did it have six laps? Why? Why? I understand that I'm a fast vehicle, but this course is unexpectedly long, and I have a feeling this video's already gone up to about like 22 minutes, maybe now, maybe half an hour. I have no idea, because GeForce doesn't actually tell you how long you've been recording for, even though I wish it did. But um, anyway, um, I am very. I'm very very scared that I'm gonna kind of spin out or something or I'm gonna crash and on the last lap and I'm gonna fuck it up or something but uh, hopefully not hopefully not I am everything is a-okay okay everybody everything is a-okay um, now something I want to discuss is um, multiplayer in this game and Multiplayer in this game is is very fun, of course. I've I've actually never done it before, but I'm thinking about doing it. If we can get maybe enough people um, on a server, I'll, what I'll do is I'm gonna get maybe a few computer upgrades because I can't stream while I play this game because it turns out to be very laggy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, buy maybe a few PC upgrades, maybe like a new motherboard, graphics card, all that stuff. Live stream this game and do multiplayer and you guys are more than welcome to join on uh, and I'll make a server uh, just for uh, for anybody who wants to join you know who's been subscribed and all that stuff so if you want to if you want to see me do that then uh, then let me know because that would be it'd be very fun to it'd be very fun to do it unfortunately um, the reason that I've actually stopped live streaming at all actually on the subject of live streaming and um, the reason I stopped live streaming completely is just because my computer cannot handle it. I've only got a 960 GeForce uh, NVIDIA graphics card, and that's not very good. That's actually quite old. Um, and I've had my computer, I think, for maybe about maybe a year or maybe two years. But um, I'm definitely once I get paid um, for my job, I'm definitely going to get a, a you know a new graphics card or a new motherboard and stuff like that. So um, I'm definitely saving up for definitely new graphic. Uh, new graphic, um, new PC upgrade, so you know I can record and live stream and all that stuff. So it'd be it'd be good it'd be good to do. But yes, um, uh, this was uh, this was uh, it, and I think yeah, this was the third race. Yeah, this is the third race, and the next one is the fourth because I think there's eight races. So yeah, I will see you guys in two seconds. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to end it here. If you did enjoy then let me know in the comments down below and um, leave a like so like I said if you did like this video then leave a like so I know I so I know I can make more of these videos comment below if you've got any tips or tricks on this game you know here or there um, tell me what you think about the multiplayer as well if you want me to do that then again 
that's what the comment section is for. But anyway, I'd like to thank you so much for watching and all your support. And I will see you in the next video. Also, make sure to check out my Patreon page, which will be in the video description down below. But um, yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.